Hello, I'm Ryan Bogdan, and this is Casablanca on the Beach, a one-of-a-kind oceanfront condo located in St. Pete Beach, Florida. Today we have the rare opportunity to take the glass elevator to the top floor penthouse suite where we are going to see 3,500 square feet, three bedrooms, three bathrooms, as this unit is currently listed on the market for an asking price of four and a half million dollars. We also have a five stall garage here on the bottom and elegant views of the Gulf of Mexico. This is truly one of a kind and I can't wait to share it with you. As you step off of your private elevator into your first foyer, you will notice that we start this beautiful marble. And we come to this amazing door. It is so custom, I couldn't find any information or even to what to call it. It's, it's a convex door, it's bowed, it's curved, it's, it's very unique. It has crown molding up top. I mean, this door is a masterpiece into the entrance of what is the penthouse of Casablanca on the beach. Let's go inside. All right, as we make our way inside, we come out into this foyer uh, that's a little higher than the rest of the living area. And we have a few steps that come down. Again, the marble flooring throughout, and we'll notice that there is crown molding throughout this entire unit. Lots of lots of intricate details. Uh, to my left, we have a guest bedroom and the first uh, guest bathroom as well as an emergency uh, stairway to get down. And to my right, we have the library and the laundry room. So let's start here because the library office den is one of my favorite rooms, um, as I could see myself spending lots of time there. Uh, before we do that, let's just take a quick look inside the laundry room. We have a nice uh, built-in sink set up here, uh, laundry, some cupboards up top, and there's a little um, closet behind this door. All right, now for the office. As we come inside, we'll notice we have very uh, intricate details throughout, as well as the dark tone uh, built-ins here that would be great to hold lots of books, lots of knowledge uh, throughout. I could see myself spending lots of time in here, having lots of great thoughts, um, as enjoying the um, uh, details that are throughout this, um, including this awesome ceiling fan and the um, recessed lighting, almost forgot uh, what that was called. And we have a little balcony uh, off the office as well that overlooks the Golf Boulevard here in St. Pete Beach. Now let's make our way across the foyer and into the first guest bedroom. That is right off the uh, entryway here. Uh, before we get there, we'll come across our first uh, bathroom. Come on inside. We'll notice that we have a nice curvature vanity set up here with the gold uh, faucets as well as a natural stone clad here in the first shower. Again, archway here will continue those curves throughout. I mean, the, the starting of that master door with that curvature, uh, that, that those curved lines continue throughout this condominium. If we come across this way, as you guys went through the hallway, I came through that first bathroom. We have a pocket door off that uh, bathroom here to seal that off from the first guest bedroom. Again, access to the balcony facing Golf Boulevard to be able to watch the sunrise. Um, just a nice little cozy room here. We'll make our way back out into the hallway. Before we head to the foyer, again, I just wanna show this uh, detail because I think it's important. There is a stairway here, uh, just in case you don't want to use the elevator to get up into, into the unit. Okay, we'll make our way back into the main entryway where we started, and we'll go straight ahead into the entertainment space of this unit. Um, and here we have nice, beautiful wood built-ins. Again, lots of storage in this unit. The crown molding continues throughout with the dark and light tones um, on each side, uh, this darker tone kind of separating your entertainment space with this beautiful bar, which I want to talk about in a second. Recessed lighting above. Now let's talk about this bar for a minute. This is a custom built bar that was inspired from the world travels of the gentleman who developed this unit. His name was Raybon E. Cox. 
and he was uh, he went by Ray and he was a Navy veteran he was a Master Chief Petty Officer the highest enlisted rank in the Navy and uh, during his time in the service he did lots of traveling I can respect that as being a veteran myself um, he then got out and got into some development and he built Casablanca on the beach now Casablanca is the largest city in Morocco so you'll notice that the details throughout here feel maybe foreign to the United States and that's because there's a lot of architectural design that was brought in from places like Morocco and Italy and uh, England as well. Uh, we'll notice that there was nice hand carving here on the on the bar setup. We have mirrors throughout. Um, just a nice place to greet your guests immediately when you walk in the door and entertain. Really love this. Don't want to forget about this uh, beautiful sink inlay here that looks like it was hand hammered. Uh, it could be like a, a copper sink. Uh, I think it's a very neat detail of the bar. <music> Now as we enter this amazing kitchen, we'll notice that we have stainless steel appliances throughout, beautiful granite countertops that, that match the cherry uh, cabinetry that's in here. We have convection oven, sub-zero refrigerator, microwave, uh, dual oven setup, beautiful sink and dishwasher. Lots of drawers and storage throughout. We have this amazing seating area over here and this unique lighting detail which is one of my favorites it brings a natural light feel into the kitchen which there's lots of natural light throughout uh, but it's a little darker here so they added this uh, like clear paneling and then lit it above and it feels like sunlight uh, coming in here and adds a, a great um, highlight to the crown molding uh, that's throughout the kitchen <music> All right, as we walk out of the kitchen, we enter the dining room, which is a masterpiece. The, it is centered with this beautiful chandelier. We notice that there is an elegant uplit uh, cove lighting throughout with these nice curved uh, details on the crown molding. I mean, just a very proper place to have a very uh, beautiful dinner with family and friends. And, uh, and you get to look at this beautiful uh, teardrop chandelier. Off of the living room here, we have a dual master bedroom setup. Each bedroom is identical, just mirrored to each other. And we will start with this first one here to my right. As we enter the master bedroom, we'll notice that all the doorways throughout here have this curved uh, arched um, entryway, which I think is um, a very unique detail and continues that curvature from the beginning of when we walked in with that nice massive curved door. Uh, just very uh, amazing detail as we enter the bedroom. Off the doorway here, we have the master bathroom. Dual vanities, dual vanity set up here. Curvature continuing on this uh, vanity. A beautiful faucet set up um, and a jacuzzi tub as well with a window that gives you views of the ocean. As we continue back to the washroom, we have a wonderful walk-in shower, uh, your toilet and a beautiful bidet. Um, that just adds to the elegance of the uh, foreign architectural architecture, sorry, that is, is brought into this unit with that piece there. Hardwood floors throughout. Crown molding continues. We have some uh, beautiful views of the Gulf of Mexico. The beach, natural lighting coming in here, really a great way to start your day in this bedroom. Big enough for a nice king bed and beautiful furniture. And now we'll make our way over into the second bedroom. As we make our way out of the first uh, master suite, we'll come across the dining room over into the second master suite. Very neat detail of this condo. Again, we have the same bathroom layout throughout, dual vanity set up, jacuzzi tub, the washroom, same thing, little lighter uh, stone color. We have the hardwood floors throughout the master and a nice, beautiful walk-in closet um, with these nice uh, wood uh, built-ins here, lots of storage. The other closet in the other uh, bedroom is the same, just a darker wood. Um, great 
great at space. As we make our way into the master, we have lots of natural light coming in. Again, beautiful hardwoods throughout, crown molding, lots of space uh, for, again, another king bed, if, if you saw, and access off uh, to the balcony. Love, love these bedrooms. <music> Okay, as we make our way into the living room, we have a couple steps down. We have beautiful built-ins here for uh, some timeless decorations. And we have this nice big living area with, that is beautifully naturally lit um, from the ocean. I can just imagine sitting here in the evening, drinking a cup of tea or a glass of wine, watching the sunset, as the sunsets here are incredible. Um, that watch the sun go down behind the horizon there of the ocean. We can't forget about this very unique wooden spiral staircase that goes up to a loft where we have additional seating. It is a uh, remarkable detail of this condo and um, one of my favorites as well. And straight up above we have a, another beautiful chandelier. All right, now that we're at the top of the spiral staircase, we have a nice little loft here overlooking the living room. We have, the, again, access to the chandelier if we needed it. Curved hand railings in here, continuing that curvature that we're seeing throughout the whole condominium. Um, and we have a nice little seating nook here to enjoy a cup of tea, have a card game, whatever you like, and additional seating over here with another uh, TV. I mean, there's lots of ways that you could utilize this space up here and a nice little nook, as well as a uh, mini split unit up here to keep it nice and cool since it is elevated off of the rest of the house. So it is climate controlled well up here. And we have the highest balcony in this unit overlooking the ocean. Um, and so let's go out there and take a look. All right, as we step out here into the balcony, the first thing I notice is the sounds of the ocean. I mean, this is why we live at the beach, for these views. I mean, these are incredible. Let's just take a moment to take this in. From here, we have a view of the Don Cesar, which is a staple to St. Petersburg and the locals here. We'll put a link in the description below. That way you guys can check out and learn more about that. Uh, lots of history ties here. And uh, to have a view of that from your penthouse suite is um, highly sought after when it comes to the real estate market here out at the beaches. Now let's head back inside and go out to the balcony on the lower level. All right, now that we're back into the living room, let's check out these amazing views off this massive balcony that we have off the living room. All right, as we make our way out here off the living room, first thing I'm noticing is that there is lots of space out here. I mean, you could host a whole party out here. Um, and you have these beautiful views of the beach and the ocean, it is amazing. We have the big green egg uh, grill that stays here with the unit as well. I mean, this property is highly sought after just because of these, this balcony and these views. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. Um, it is amazing out here. You can hear the, the sounds of the ocean, a little bit of sea breeze. I mean, I can't imagine coming out here every morning and having your cup of coffee and starting your day. I mean, this is truly remarkable. Let's not forget that the access to this balcony comes off of each master suite, because we have two of them, and off the living room. Now we'll make our way back inside. We'll go back down the elevator to the five-stall garage, and we'll check out the pool, the jacuzzi, and the private access to the beach. Let's go. All right, as we walk off the elevator, we're back downstairs in the motor court, we come out here into our five stall garage, which is dedicated just to the penthouse unit. There's two other garages that the other two units in this building have access to, but this one is all to the penthouse. So let's come check this out. Okay, you can see as we get to the garage, there is lots of storage in here. I can see a car collector having beautiful Jaguar, Rolls Royce, whatever it is that you collect. Your Bentley in here, your Mercedes, it doesn't matter. Lots of room for kayaks. I mean, the storage in here is endless. There's another washer and dryer set up over there. I mean, but look, look at this space. I mean, this is massive. There is, I mean, I don't know where you're getting this on the golf with a condo. This is unheard of. This is what truly makes this unit one of a kind. All right, as we leave the garages, we have a private access back here to the pool and spa setup. Okay, now here we are at the common pool area. We have this beautiful L-shaped pool that leads into our jacuzzi, as well as our private access here to the beach. I mean, this place would be 
wonderful for entertaining. There's a little bar built in over there and lots of seating and place for entertaining as well as we have our little uh, uh, deck here for sunbathing. I mean, this little common area is amazing. Now this is shared with the other two units in this condo, but Casablanca on the beach is only home to three residents and uh, the penthouse unit is the majority stakeholder in the condominium. So um, we have access to this, but I've been out at this property a few times and I have not seen anyone out here yet. So I would say it's, it's all yours. If you made it this far in the video, thank you. Uh, if you need any more information on this unit, please see my contact information below. We'll be more than willing to answer any questions that you may have. I wanna thank my team, the Lockhart Walseth uh, Realty team, for letting me make this video here and sharing this with you here on YouTube, as well as my video guy, Advance, for the many takes that it took us to get this perfect for you guys. Also, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, my name is here, it's ryan.bogdan. Also, subscribe and like this video so we can share it with many others around the world. We have lots more coming for you. This is just a start and I'm very excited. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.